In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kentmere Pan 400 pushed to 1600. I was curious how a more lower price option like Kentmere 400 would do in place of films like P3200 or Delta 3200. I not only wanted to see if Kentmere 400 was a viable option in place of those films, I really wanted to give it a fighting chance. In order to get as much shadow detail out of this push experiment as possible, I went with X-Tall at 1 to 2. I metered for the shadow on the inside of the right bicep, and I placed the exposure at a zone 5. First things that are standing out to me, the highlight area on the right side of the body, and the eyes, both very dense characteristics of pushing, so that's evident. And the grain is very dense, very noticeable, but in my opinion still looks really great, and I think the shadow detail here looks really good. Going one stop darker and placing that same shadow at a zone 4, I think the image starts to come together a lot better here. The contrast looks more where I would like it to. That dark separation between the shadows and those really dense highlights looks a lot more natural here. Going one stop darker to a zone 3, the image is starting to get very dark overall, but you can still make out all the detail, everything is clearly visible, and you're still holding a lot of shadow detail even in the deepest shadow areas. I wasn't even sure if this film would still be holding detail at a zone 3 with a 2 stop push, so to see this I was pretty impressed, everything in my opinion still looks really great. Just for the heck of it, I went one stop further and took the shadows to a zone 2 just to see the absolute limits of this film. And yes, it's extremely dark and there's not much shadow detail, but there actually is still quite a bit of shadow detail overall. So I was pretty impressed with this as well. My main concern with this film was shadow detail, and I think it demonstrates really well that it can hold shadow detail. But one thing that I noticed that I wanted to point out here is that if you look at the variation in tone on the color checker, you can see the area from dark to light. There is some variation in tonality in the highlight area. So this is a zone 3 exposure. So if you expose the film dark enough, you can still hold on to a little bit of tonality in the highlight areas. It looks like they won't entirely block up, but of course that's going to vary with light sources and whatever it, you're photographing in the image. Here's a few more images from the back of the Spider-Man figure, just to get more of an idea of the look of the film. Here's a shot on the film with text included, and although the film is grainier, I think you can still see all the text nice and clearly, and it doesn't impact the image in a negative way. In conclusion, do I think that Kentmere 400 is a viable option in place of films like P3200 or Delta 3200 in low light? In my opinion, yes, I think so. Is it equivalent as those films? Probably not, but for a lower price option, I think it does the job quite well. Have you ever tried pushing Kentmere 400? And if so, what were your results? Do you have any recommendations? And did this video help change your mind at all about Kentmere 400 and its ability? Let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time on The Negative.